the base units of all living organisms are essentially the same due to their macromolecules such as carbohydrates, proteins and fats and water and minerals for their growth and development. <coughs> This chapter focuses mainly on the inorganic plant nutrition. This chapter focuses mainly on the inorganic plant nutrition. This chapter focuses mainly on the inorganic plant nutrition. Where we'll see the methods to identify the plants elements essential to the growth and the development of the plants, uh, and the criteria for establishing the essentiality. Methods to study the mineral requirement of for plants. In 1860, Julian von Sachs, a prominent German botanist, demonstrated for the first time that plants could be grown to maturity in a defined nutrient solution in complete absence of soil. This technique of growing plants in a nutrient solution is known as hydroponics. Since then, a number of improvised methods have been employed to try and determine the mineral solutes essential for plants. The essence of all these methods involves the culture of plants in a soil-free defined mineral solution. In a soil-free defined mineral solution, these methods require purified water and the mineral nutrient salts. Purified water and the mineral nutrient salts and the mineral nutrient salts. After a series of experiments in which the roots of the plants were uh, after which the roots of the plants were immersed in nutrient solution and where an element was added, substituted, removed or given in varied concentration, a mineral solution suitable for plant growth, a mineral solution suitable for plant growth was obtained. By the by this method, essential elements uh, were identified and their deficiency symptoms were discovered. Hydroponics has been successfully employed as a technique for the commercial production of vegetables such as the tomato, seedless, cucumber and lettuce. It must be emphasized that the nutrient solution that the nutrient solution must be adequately aerated, must be adequately aerated to obtain the optimum growth, must be adequately aerated to optimum the to optimum hope to obtain the optimum growth essential mineral elements most of the minerals present in soil can enter the plants through roots in fact more than 60 elements of 105 discovered so far are found in different plants so far are found in different plants some plants species accumulate selenium some others accumulate gold while other while some plants growing near the nuclear test sites take up the radioactive strontium. There are techniques that are able to detect the minerals even at very low concentration of 10 to the power minus 8 gram per milliliter. The question is whether it's whether all the diverse mineral elements present in different plants, for example, gold, selenium, strontium, as mentioned above, are really necessary for plants. No. Criteria for essentiality. There are three basic criteria for essentiality. The first one is the element must be absolutely necessary for supporting normal growth and reproduction. The element must be absolutely necessary for supporting normal growth and reproduction. In the absence of the element, in the absence of the element, the plants do not complete their life cycle or set the seeds. In the complete absence of it, do not complete their life cycle or set the seeds. The requirement of the element must be specific. The second one is the requirement of the element must be specific and not replaceable by the another element and not replaceable by the another element. In other words, deficiency of any one element cannot be met by supplying some other element. The third one, the element must be directly very important. The element must be directly involved. The element must be directly involved. The element must be directly involved in the metabolism of the plant. The element must be directly involved in the metabolism of the plant. In the metabolism of the plant. Based upon the above criteria, only a few elements, only a few elements, based upon the above criteria, only a few elements have been found to be absolutely essential for plant growth and metabolism, for plant growth and metabolism. These elements are further divided into two broad categories based, based on their quantitative requirements. These essential elements are divided into two categories on the basis of their quantitative requirements. Macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are 9 in number. Micronutrients are 8 in number. Macronutrients are generally present in plant tissues in large amounts. Macronutrients are present in plant tissues or we can say that are required for plant in large amounts in excess of 10 millimoles, greater than 10 millimoles per kg of dry matter. The macronutrients include carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium, calcium calcium and magnesium the trick is p k ka kun sa mag p for phosphorus k for potassium c a calcium c h o n kun sulfur s m g o magnesium p k ka kun sa mag p k ka kun sa mag these are the macronutrients my macronutrients are the essential elements but are required in greater amounts in greater than in excess of 10 to the power 10 to the power 10 millimoles per kg of 10 millimoles per kg of dry matter 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 the macronutrients include carbon hydrogen uh, phosphorus potassium 
کیلشیم کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن نائٹروجن سلفر میگنیشیم سلفر میگنیشیم آف دیز کاربن ہائیڈروجن اینڈ آکسیجن آر آلسو آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ واٹر کاربن ہائیڈروجن اینڈ آکسیجن آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر آف دیز کاربن ہائیڈروجن اینڈ آکسیجن آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر کاربن ہائیڈروجن اینڈ آکسیجن آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر وائل دا ادرس آر ایبزارو فرام دا سائل ایز دا مینرل نیوٹریشن وائل دا ادرس آر بیسڈ آن دا ابو کرائٹیریا دا ایسینشل ایلمنٹس آر کلاسفائڈ ان ٹو براڈ کیٹیگریز آن دا بیسز آف دیئر کوانٹیٹیو ریکوائرمنٹس مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس اینڈ مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس آر نائن ان نمبر مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس آر ایٹین نمبر مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس آر دا ایسینشل ایلمنٹس دیٹ آر ریکوائرڈ ان گریٹر اماؤنٹس ان ایکسس آف ٹین ٹو دا پاور ان ایکسس آف ان ایکسس آف ان ایکسس آف ٹین ٹو دا پاور ٹین ملی موز پر کی جب ڈرامیٹر دا مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس انکلوڈ دا پی کے فاس فورس پوٹیشیم کیلشیم کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن نائٹروجن سلفر میگنیشیم مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس آر آلسو کال ایس ٹریس ایلمنٹس آف دیز کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن اینڈ کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن آر مینلی اوبٹینڈ فرام کاربن ڈائی آکسائڈ اینڈ واٹر ادرس آر اوبٹینڈ فرام دا سائل ایز منرل نیوٹریشن مائکرو نیوٹرینٹس آر آلسو کال ایس ٹریس ایلمنٹس بیکاز دے آر نیوٹریڈ ان سمال کوانٹیٹیز لیس دین ٹین ملی موز پر کے جی آف ڈرائی میٹر لیس دین ٹین ملی موز پر کے جی آف ڈرائی میٹر These include iron, manganese, copper, molybdenum, zinc, boron, chlorine, and nickel. These are 18 numbers. In addition to the above 17 essential elements, in, in addition to the above 17 essential elements, there are some other beneficial elements. Sinecose, silicon, sodium, cobalt, selenium. Silicon, sodium, cobalt, selenium. Silicon is used by C4 plants. Silicon, uh, silicon for C4, sodium for C4 plant, silicon for grass, cobalt for nodulation, and selenium for gymnosperm. Gymnosperm additional sodium for C4 plant, sodium for C4 plant, silicon for grass, silicon means grass, uh, cobalt nodulation, cobalt nodulation, cobalt nodulation, selenium gymnosperm. They are required by higher plants. Beneficial elements, beneficial elements. In addition to the above mentioned 17 essential elements, there are other some other beneficial elements that are required by higher plants like sineco silicon sineco silicon sodium cobalt selenium silicon sodium cobalt selenium essential elements can also be grouped above above uh, classification was on the basis of quantity requirements now the classification is on the basis of diverse functions there are four broad categories there are four broad categories essential elements can also be grouped into four broad categories on the basis of their diverse functions on the basis of their diverse functions these categories are essential elements as the components of biomolecules essential elements as the components of biomolecules بناتے ہیں اینڈ ہینس اسٹرکچرل کمپوننٹس آف سیل اسٹرکچرل ایلمنٹس ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس ایز کمپوننٹس آف بایو مولیکول دیر فور دی فارم دا اسٹرکچرل ایلمنٹس آف سیل دیر انکلوڈ کون سی ایچ او این کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن اینڈ نائٹروجن کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن اینڈ نائٹروجن کاربن ہائیڈروجن آکسیجن اینڈ نائٹروجن ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس سیکنڈ ون از ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس دیر آر کمپوننٹس آف دا اینرجی ریلیٹڈ کمپوننٹس فار ایگزامپل فاسفورس از پریزنٹ ان اے ٹی پی میگنیشیم از پریزنٹ ان کلور فیل تھرڈ ون از ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس دیٹ ایکٹیویٹ اور ایکٹیویٹ اور ڈی ایکٹیویٹ مینی اینزائمز فار ایگزامپل ایم وی ٹو پازیٹو از این ایکٹیویٹر آف بوتھ ربسکو اینڈ پیپ کیز دیٹ آر دیٹ آر کروشیل اینزائمز فار فوٹو سنتھیسز اور کاربن فکسیشن زیڈ این ٹو پازیٹو از این ایکٹیویٹر آف الکوہل ڈی ہائیڈروجنیز زیڈ این ٹو پازیٹو از این ایکٹیویٹر آف الکوہل ڈی ہائیڈروجنیز ان مال بیڈنم از آف نائٹروجنیز ڈیورنگ نائٹروجن میٹابولزم فورتھ ون از سم ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس دیٹ کین آلٹر دا آسمانٹک پوٹینشل آف سیل ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس دیٹ کین آلٹر دا آسمانٹک پوٹینشل آف سیل پوٹیشیم ویری امپارٹنٹ پوٹیشیم پلیز اے ویری امپارٹنٹ رول ان دا اوپننگ اینڈ دا کلوزنگ آف اسٹومیٹا پوٹیشیم پلیز اے ویری امپارٹنٹ رول ان دا اوپننگ اینڈ دا کلوزنگ آف دا اسٹومیٹا آن دا بیسز ایلمنٹ ایسینشیل ایلمنٹس کین آلسو بی گروپڈ on the basis of their diverse function into four broad categories first one is those elements that form the structural components of structural components of the components of the biomolecules that are included carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen second one is uh, that uh, that are present in different energy related compounds essential elements as the components of the energy related compounds for example phosphorus in pota phosphorus uh, in atp phosphorus in atp and and magnesium in chlorophyll third one is that can activate and essential elements that activates or inhibit many enzymes for example mg2 positive is an activator of rubisco ribulose this phosphate carboxylates oxygenase and phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylate that are crucial enzymes for photosynthetic carbo carbon dioxide fixation Uh, ZN2 positive is an activator of alcohol dehydrogenase, molybdenum is an activator of nit nitrogenase. Some essential elements can alter the osmotic potential of the cell. For example, potassium plays a very important role. Potassium plays a very important role in opening and closing of stomata. Potassium plays a very important role in opening and closing of stomata. Potassium plays a very important role in opening and closing of stomata. Potassium plays a very important role in opening and closing of stomata. 
role of macro and micronutrients role of macro and micronutrients essential elements perform several functions they participate in various metabolic processes in the plant cells such as permeability of the cell membrane maintenance of the osmotic maintenance of the osmotic concentration of cell sap electron transport system buffering action enzymatic activity and act as a major constituents of macromolecules and coenzymes first one is nitrogen very important nitrogen this is the essential element this is the essential nutrient this is the essential nutrient it is a macronutrient actually it is a macronutrient because it is a macronutrient as macro essential nutrient element required by plants in greatest amount among the macronutrients nitrogen nit overall overall essential nutrient is the nitrogen is required by plants in the greatest amount nitrogen is required by the plants in greatest amount nitrogen is required by the plants in greatest amount first one. it is mainly absorbed in the form of no3 negative that is nitrate form or no2 negative nitrite form or ammonia ion form no3 negative no2 negative or nh4 positive no3 negative no2 negative or nh4 positive nitrogen is required by all parts of a plant it is it is required by plants in greatest amount therefore it will be definitely required by all parts of plant particularly the meristematic tissues and the metabolically active cells nitrogen is required by all parts of a plant particularly the meristematic tissues and the metabolically active cells nitrogen is one of the major constituents of nitrogen is one of the major constituents of nitrogen is nucleic acids proteins hormones vitamins nephew n p h v nephew nitrogen is nephew nitrogen nucleic acids proteins hormones vitamins nucleic acids proteins hormones vitamins nitrogen nitrogen this is the essential element required by the plants in the greatest amount it is absorbed in the form of no3 negative no2 negative or nh4 positive nitrogen is required by all parts of the plant particularly the meristematic tissues and the metabolically active cells nitrogen is one of the major constituents of nitrogen is one of the major constituents of nucleic acids proteins hormones and vitamins nucleic acids proteins hormones and vitamins phosphorus phosphorus is absorbed by the plants in the form of phosphate ions h2po4 negative or hpo4 2 negative h2po4 negative or hpo4 2 negative h2po4 negative or hpo4 2 negative phosphorus is a constituent of cell membrane certain protein not all protein it is certain protein is cell membrane is certain protein is all nucleic acids all nucleic acids certain proteins but all nucleic acids and is required by all phosphorylation reactions cell is a constituent of cell membrane certain protein is all nucleic acids and involved in all phosphorylation reactions that is phosphorus that is phosphorus second one is phosphorus third one is potassium third one is potassium it is absorbed in form of k positive it is simple in plants this is required in more abundant quantities in the meristematic tissues meristematic tissues mein sabse zyada abundant quantities mein jo essential element ya jo overall element require hota hai wo hota hai potassium bud leaves and root tips potassium helps to maintain an anion cation balance with sodium anion cation balance main function to ye hota hai involved in protein banane mein madad karta hai opening and closing of stomata jo pehle hi padha activation of enzymes bahut sare enzymes ko potassium activate karta hai and in the maintenance of turgidity of cells टेन बैलेंस के साथ साथ मेंटेन करता है टर्जिटी ऑफ सेल्स टर्जिटी ऑफ सेल्स से ही ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ऑफ स्टोमेटा को कंट्रोल करता है वो ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ऑफ स्टोमेटा इज रिलेटेड टू टर्जिटी ऑफ सेल्स एन एन कैटाइन बैलेंस एंड एन एन कैटाइन बैलेंस प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एक्टिवेशन ऑफ एनजाइम पोटेशियम इट इज एब्जॉर्व बाई द इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के पॉजिटिव आइन इन प्लांट दिस इज रिकॉर्ड मोर इन बाई द मेरिस्टमेटिक थी दीज आर कोरिलेटेड इज आर कोरिलेट दीज थ्री फंक्शन प्रोटीन सेंथिस एंड एक्टिवेशन ऑफ एंजाम तो पता ही है करता है बहुत सारे एंजाम को एक्टिवेट पोटेशियम एंड इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोटीन सेंथिस कैल्शियम प्लांट्स एब्जॉर्ब कैल्शियम फ्रॉम द सॉइल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैल्शियम सी ए टू पॉजिटिव कैल्शियम इज रिकॉर्ड बाई द मेरिस्टमेटिक ये भी लगता है मेरिस्टमेटिक फर्स्ट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ पहला है नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस पोटेशियम कैल्शियम भी is required by meristematic and the differentiating tissues during cell division it is used in the synthesis of cell wall calcium is used in the synthesis of cell wall during the cell division in the synthesis of cell wall during the cell division particularly as calcium pectate in the middle lamella particularly in the calcium pectate in the middle lamella cell wall banane mein during the during the cell division it is used in the synthesis of cell wall particularly as calcium pectate in the middle lamella it is also needed during the formation of mitotic spindle it it is also needed during the formation of mitotic spindle mitotic spindle it accumulates in the older leaves because it is an immobile element it accumulates in the older leaves because it is an immobile element it is involved in normal functioning of cell membrane it activates certain enzymes and plays a very important role in regulating the metabolic activities and plays a very important role in regulating the metabolic activities 
Plants absorb calcium from the soil in the form of seed deposit and calcium is used by the metrometric and differentiating tissues during cell division. It helps in the formation of the cell wall, particularly the calcium pectate in the middle lamella. It is also needed during the formation of mitotic spindle. It is also needed during the formation of mitotic spindle. It accumulates in older leaves. Mitotic spindle it accumulates in older leaves. It is involved in the normal functioning of the cell membranes. It activates certain enzymes and plays an important role in regulating the metabolic activities. It activates certain enzymes and plays an important role in regulating the metabolic activities in regulating the metabolic activities magnesium it is absorbed in the form of mg2 positive it activates the enzymes of respiration photosynthesis and is involved in the synthesis of dna and rna it and it activates the enzymes of respiration photosynthesis and is involved in the synthesis of dna and rna magnesium is a constituent of ring structure of chlorophyll ring structure ke beech mein hota hai magnesium chlorophyll ka jo ring structure hota hai uske beech mein hota hai magnesium and helps to maintain the ribosome structure ko bhi maintain karne mein madad karta hai magnesium and helps to maintain the ribosome structure helps to maintain the ribosome structure help us to maintain the ribosome structure helps to maintain the ribosome structure sulfur plants obtain sulfur in the form of sulfate ions so4 2 negative sulfur is present in two amino acids chief minister cysteine and methionine cysteine and methionine and is the main constituent of several coenzymes sulfur is present in two amino acids cysteine and methionine and is a major constituent of two coenzymes two coenzymes Sorry, several coenzymes like vitamins, thiamine, biotin, vitamin coenzyme A and ferridoxin. Several coenzymes mean vitamins, several coenzymes come vitamin vitamins more at thiamine, biotin, coenzyme, thiamine, biotin, coenzyme A and ferridoxin, coenzyme A and ferridoxin, coenzyme A and ferridoxin, coenzyme A and ferridoxin. Magnesium it is absorbed in the form of divalent Mg2 positive ions. It uh, activates the enzymes of the respiration and photosynthesis and helps in the synthesis of DNA and RNA. DNA and RNA. Magnesium is a uh, is a constituent of the ring structure of the chlorophyll and helps to maintain the ribosome structure sulfur plants obtain sulfur in the form of sulfate and so forth negative it is present in two amino acids cysteine and methionine and is also present in several coenzymes vitamins thiamine biotin coenzyme and ferridoxin may be sulfur present hota hai plants plants obtain iron in the form of ferric fe3 positive ferric zyada required hota hai fe3 positive fe2 was not fe3 positive fe3 positive ferric it is required in larger amounts agar comparison karenge micronutrients ke sath micronutrients mein jo sabse zyada required required for the plants it is required in larger amounts in comparison to the other micronutrients overall subsidy is other required nutrient to hold the head with a nitrogen micronutrients may say subsidy the required nutrient with the iron it is an important constituent of protein is involved in the transfer of the mainly electron transport system may iron takes play a very important role iron gets also calcium be iron and calcium sorry iron or Iron or copper, iron or copper, iron or copper plays a very important role in the electron transport system. Life redoxin and cytochromos may iron hota. It is reversibly oxidized from Fe2 positive to Fe3 positive. It is reversibly oxidized from Fe2 positive to Fe3 positive during the electron transfer. During the electron transfer, it activates catalase and then very important. It activates catalase enzyme. It activates catalase enzyme and is essential for the formation of chlorophyll and is essential for the formation of chlorophyll. Very important. Chlorophyll ka jo ring structure mein present hota hota magnesium. Chlorophyll ko banane mein madad karta hai iron. It is essential for the formation of chlorophyll and is essential for the formation of chlorophyll for the formation. Iron plants obtain iron in the form of the ferric ions. Fe3 positive ions required in large amounts as compared to the other micro <coughs> nutrients. It is an important constituent of proteins involved in the transfer of electrons. It is an important constituent of proteins. Jo proteins karte hai, transfer of electrons in the electron transport system like cytochromes, like cytochromes, ferridoxin. Ferridoxin may be sulfur bhi hota hai. Ferridoxin may iron bhi hota hai. It is reversibly oxidized from Fe2 positive to Fe3 positive. Jab electron transport karte hai, electron transport system mein, us vakit hai reversibly oxidized from Fe2 positive to Fe3 positive, Fe2 positive to Fe3 positive. It activates very important function. It activates catalase enzyme and helps in the synthesis of chlorophyll ko banane mein madad karta hai. It have it activates catalase enzyme and is essential for the formation of chlorophyll. Let's revise and is, helps in the formation of the chlorophyll. Nitrogen. This is the essential element required by the plants in the greatest amount. It is required by the plants. And this is the essential element required by the plants in the greatest amount. Now it is absorbed in the form of NO3 negative, NO2 negative, or NH4 positive. Nitrogen is required by the all parts of the plant, physical, all parts of the plant, particularly metabolic tissues and the metabolically active cells.
metabolically active it is a constituent of certain proteins it's a constituent nitrogen is one of the major constituent of the protein is nucleus sorry nitrogen nephew nitrogen nephew nitrogen nephew nitrogen nephew nucleic acid is protein is hormones vitamins nucleic acid protein is hormones and vitamins second one is phosphorus it is obtained in the form of phosphate ions hpo4 2 negative or h2po4 negative h2po4 negative or hpo4 2 negative phosphorus is a constituent of cell membranes and certain proteins it is a constituent of cell membranes and certain proteins all nucleic acids and involved in all phosphorylation reactions certain proteins certain proteins very important all nucleic acids and all phosphorylation reactions may phosphorus present quota have good nitrogen to phosphorus third one is potassium it is absorbed in form of k positive it is simple in plants this is required more uh, in the metastomatic and the differentiating tissues metastomatic tissues bad sleeves and the routine metastomatic tissues potassium helps to maintain an anchor and balance case as opening and closing of stomatic case as such to observe these three functions are correlated and anchor and balance maintain karta hai opening and closing of stomata third one is turgidity of the cells it uh, uh, it is involved in the protein synthesis and activation of many enzymes protein synthesis and activation of many enzymes is in three new functions which are correlated in the other two other functions are potassium key that is protein synthesis before potassium protein synthesis activation of enzymes to pata hai yaad rakhna protein synthesis protein synthesis and then cation valence turgidity uh, maintains opening and closing of the stomata maintains the turgidity of the cell maintains the maintenance of the turgidity of the cell potassium is absorbed in the form of k positive in plants that require in more abundant uh, quantities in the metastomatic tissues bud sleeves and the root tips potassium helps to maintain an anchor and balance turgidity of the cells and opening and closing of the stomata it also helps in protein synthesis as well as activate many enzymes calcium plants is obtained calcium in the form of the ca2 positive amines calcium uh, is also found in the metastomatic and the differentiating tissues calcium is used in the formation of the cell wall c for calcium c for cell wall particularly the middle lamella particularly in the middle lamella particularly the calcium bacteria of the middle lamella particularly the calcium bacteria it also helps in the formation of mitotic spindle during the cell division mitotic spindle during the cell division cell membrane ko bana cell membrane ki functioning ke liye important hota hai calcium iske alawa different metabolism ke liye metabolic reactions plants obtain for calcium in the form of the calcium 2 positive c2 positive calcium is required with metastomatic and the differentiating tissues during cell division it is used in synthesis of the cell wall particularly the calcium bacteria in the middle lamella it is also needed during the mitotic spindle banane mein it is not the normal functioning of the cell membrane normal functioning it activates certain enzymes certain enzymes could be activated regulating the metabolic activity its main function is my cell wall banane ki cell wall formation cell wall formation particularly the calcium bacteria in the middle lamella it is also needed mitotic spindle and cell wall formation is the main function of calcium calcium in metastomatic or differentiating tissues mainly paya jata hai calcium third one is magnesium it is absorbed in the form of the mg2 positive and it is found in two amino acid cysteine and methionine and uh, in uh, found in several coenzymes coenzymes and vitamins thiamine biotin as well as ferritoxin 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 sulfur 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 plants obtain sulfur in the form of so4 negative sulfur from two amino acids in and methionine it is main constituent of several coenzymes vitamins thiamine coenzyme and the ferritoxin magnesium it is obtained in the form of mg2 positive and it activates the enzymes of respiration and photosynthesis of dna activates the enzymes of respiration and photosynthesis and helps in synthesis of dna it is an uh, it is a constituent of the ring structure of chlorophyll uh, rings and uh, helps to maintain the ribosome structure helps to maintain the ribosome ring structure of chlorophyll helps to maintain the ribosome structure ring structure of chlorophyll helps to maintain the ribosome structure ring structure of chlorophyll and helps to maintain the ribosome structure iron plants obtain iron in the form of fe3 positive ions it is required in the largest amount as compared to other micronutrients fe3 positive ions greatest amount and i compare to other micronutrients it is an important constituent of the proteins which involved in the transfer of electrons example ferritoxin cytochromes may iron hota hai helps in the electron transport during in the electron transport system it is reversibly oxidized from fe2 positive to fe3 positive during electron transfer it activates the enzyme catalase enzyme and is essential for the formation of chlorophyll banane mein bahut madad karta hai iron plants obtain iron in the form of fe3 positive and is required with large amounts as compared to the other micro uh, as compared to the other micronutrients as compared to the other micro nutrients it is an important constituent of the proteins involved in the electron transfer example ferritoxin and cytochromes it is reversibly oxidized from fe2 positive to fe3 positive during the electron transfer uh, it activated the enzyme catalase 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 and it helps in the formation of chlorophyll helps in the formation of chlorophyll magnesium magnesium it is absorbed in the form of mn2 positive it is absorbed in the form of mn2 positive magnes ions it is absorbed in the form of mn2 positive ions it activates many enzymes involved in photosynthesis respiration ye bhi karta hai activate many enzymes uh, photosynthesis respiration which can activate many enzymes photosynthesis respiration and nitrogen metabolism iske sath karta hai nitrogen ko karta hai synthesis of dna and rna magnesium which can nitrogen metabolism ye karta hai nitrogen metabolism mein madad mein madad magnesium 
एक्टिवेट करता है एंजाइम्स ऑफ फोटो सिंथिस एंड रेस्पिरेशन रेगुलेशन एंड हेल्प इन सिंथिस ऑफ डी एन आर एन ए मैकनीज ऑल्सो एक्टिवेट इज द एनजाइम्स ऑफ एनजाइम ऑल्सो एक्टिवेट इज द एनजाइम्स ऑफ फोटो सिंथिस एंड रेस्पिरेशन एंड बट ऑल्सो हेल्प इन नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म द बेस्ट डिफेंड फंक्शन ऑफ द मैगनीज इज इन द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ वाटर टू लिबरेट ऑक्सीजन ड्यूरिंग फोटो सिंथिस वेरी बहुत बार रिपीट हुआ है क्वेश्चन स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ वाटर ड्यूरिंग फोटो सिंथिस द बेस्ट डिफाइंड फंक्शन ऑफ मैगनीज इज द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ द वाटर वाटर स्प्लिटिंग ड्यूरिंग द फोटो सिंथिस सेकंड इज जिंक जिंक प्लस एंजाइम फ्रॉम जेड एंड टू पॉजिटिव एंड इट एक्टिवेट्स वेरियस एंजाइम्स स्पेशली कार्बोक्सिलेसेस जेड एंड टू पॉजिटिव एक्टिवेट्स कार्बोक्सिलेसेस लाइक रुबिस्को पेप्केस पेप्केस दैट आर बोथ कार्बोक्सिलेसेस एक्टिवेट्स कार्बोक्सिलेसेस जेड एंड टू पॉजिटिव स्पेशली कार्बोक्सिलेसेस इट इज आल्सो इन द सिंथिसिस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन खाली दो फंक्शन है जिंक की एक है ऑक्सीजन जिंक ऑक्सीजन थोड़ा साउंड मिलता है इन दोनों का जिंक ऑक्सीजन सेकंड वन इज एक्टिवेट कार्बोक्सिल वो पहले ही पढ़ा था हमने ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज में जब क्लास किए थे एसेंशियल एसेंशियल एलिमेंट्स हमने पढ़ा था जिंक एक्टिवेट जेड एंड टू पॉजिटिव एक्टिवेट अल्कोहल डिहाइड्रोजन सॉरी अल्कोहल डिहाइड्रोजन पर मैं एम जी टू पॉजिटिव एक्टिवेट रुबिस्को एंड पेपके सॉरी सॉरी एम जी टू पॉजिटिव एक्टिवेट रुबिस्को एंड पेपके दो फंक्शन है जिंक की जिंक सी फॉर कार्बोक्सिलेस जड को ऑक्सीजन के साथ मिला दो दो फंक्शन निकलेगी इसी में से कार्बोक्सिलेस ऑक्सीजन कॉपर इट इज अबर क्यों कॉपर दिखाता है सिमिलरिटी विद द आयरन जैसे आयरन करता है हेल्प इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम ऐसे ही कॉपर करता है हेल्प इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम जैसे आयरन होता है रिवर्सबली ऑक्सीडाइज फ्राम एफ ई टू पॉजिटिव टू एफ ई थ्री पॉजिटिव इसी तरह कॉपर भी होता है रिवर्सबली ऑक्सीडाइज फ्राम सी यू पॉजिटिव टू सी यू टू पॉजिटिव क्योंकि ये होता है एब्जॉर्ब इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सी यू टू पॉजिटिव लाइक आयरन इट इज एसोसिएट विद सर्टन एजाम इन ऑक्सीडाइज कॉपर शो सिमिलरिटी विद आयरन थर्ड बोरन इट इज एब्जॉर्ब इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बोरेट आयन बी ओ थ्री थ्री नेगेटिव और बी फोर ओ सेवन टू नेगेटिव बी ओ थ्री थ्री नेगेटिव और बी फोर ओ सेवन टू नेगेटिव बी ओ थ्री थ्री नेगेटिव और बी फोर ओ सेवन टू नेगेटिव फोर ओ सेवन टू नेगेटिव बोरन इज रिक्वायर फॉर अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ कैल्शियम टू पॉजिटिव बहुत सारे फंक्शन है बोरन की अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ कैल्शियम टू पॉजिटिव मेम्ब्रेन फंक्शनिंग पोलन जर्मिनेशन सेल इलांगेशन सेल डिफ्रेंसिएशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन फाइव फंक्शन ऑफ बोरन बोरन की कैल्शियम अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन सेल मेम्ब्रेन फंक्शनिंग सेल इलांगेशन सेल डिफ्रेंसिएशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन उसके साथ पोलन जर्मिनेशन पी सी फाइव द फंक्शन ऑफ बोरन आर पी सी फाइव पी फॉर पोलन जर्मनी सी फॉर कैल्शियम अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन द सेकंड वन इज सेल मेम्ब्रेन फंक्शनिंग थर्ड वन इज सेल इलांगेशन कैल्शियम अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन सेल मेम्ब्रेन फंक्शनिंग थर्ड वन इज सेल इलांगेशन सेल डिफ्रेंसिएशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन दे आर टोटल सिक्स फंक्शन ऑफ बोरन पी सी फाइव पी फॉर पोलन जर्मनीशन सी फॉर कैल्शियम अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन कैल्शियम अपटेक एंड यूटिलाइजेशन सेकेंड वन इज सेल मेम्ब्रेन फंक्शनिंग सेल मेम्ब्रेन फंक्शनिंग द थर्ड वन इज सेल इलांगेशन फोर्थ वन इज सेल डिफ्रेंसिएशन एंड द फिफ्थ वन एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंट कार्बोहाइड्रेट ट्रांसलोकेशन में बहुत मदद करता है कौन बोरा बोरन इज एबजॉर्ब फॉर बी ओ थ्री थ्री नेगेटिव बी ओ थ्री थ्री नेगेटिव और बी फोर ओ सेवन टू नेगेटिव बी ओ थ्री थ्री नेगेटिव और बी फोर ओ सेवन टू नेगेटिव बी फोर ओ सेवन मॉलबिडिनम प्लांट्स ऑप्टेन मॉल इन फॉर्म एम ओ ओ एम ओ ओ टू टू पॉजिटिव मॉलबिडेट एम ओ ओ टू टू पॉजिटिव आयन प्लांट्स ऑप्टेन मॉलबिडिनम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मॉलबिडेट आयन एम ओ ओ टू टू पॉजिटिव एम ओ ओ टू टू पॉजिटिव इट इज अ कम्पोनेंट ऑफ सिवरल एनजाइम इंक्लूडिंग नाइट्रोजनीस एंड नाइट रेट प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट राइट नाइट राइट नाइट राइट नाइट राइट नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट रेट रेक्टिस इन बोथ ऑफ फीचर नाइट्रोजन को मॉल ब्रिडम से करा मेन फंक्शन द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ नॉल ब्रिडम मॉल ब्रिडम मॉल ब्रिडम मॉल ब्रिडम इज इन नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म इट इज अ कम्पोन ऑफ सिवरल एनजाइम लाइक नाइट्रोजनीस एंड नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट्रोजनीस एंड नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट्रोजनीस एंड नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस नाइट्रोजनीस एंड नाइट्रेट रेक्टिस बोथ आर बोथ आफ विच पार्टिसपेट इन नाइट्रोजन को मॉल ब्रिडम को नाइट्रोजन ब्रिडम बोरन को पी सी एफ आई कॉपर को आयरन से जिंक छावान ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बोक्स लेस मैगनीज दिखाते हैं मैगनीशियम के साथ और इसके अलावा वाटर स्प्लिटिंग में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन रोल करता है मैगनी लास्ट वन इज क्लोरी इट एज इन फॉर्म ऑफ सेल नेगेटिव एंड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी सिंपल अलॉग
take energy by cell into the essential for the water splitting reaction in photosynthesis aeration that leads to oxygen evolution magnesium magnesium ki jo function hai that resembles with magnesium <coughs> मैगनीशियम कर रहा है फोटोसिंथिस रेस्पिरेशन एंड डीएनए आरएनए सिंथिस ये कर रहा है फोटोसिंथिस रेस्पिरेशन एंड नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म मैगनीशियम एक्टिव मैगनीशियम एनएस इमिनी एंजाइम्स नॉन फोटोसिंथिस रेस्पिरेशन एंड नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉल जिंक जिंक का नाम रखना है जेड फॉर ऑक्सीजन जेड से ऑक्सीजन सी लास्ट कार्बोक्सिलेस दो ही एब्जॉर्ब इन फॉर्म एंड जेड एंड टू पॉजिटिव जेड एंड टू पॉजिटिव कार्बोक्सिलेस एंड ऑक्सीजन कॉपर शो सिमिलरिटी विद द विद द विद द विद द विद द आयरन इट इज एब्जॉर्ब इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सी टू पॉजिटिव इट हेल्प्स इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम इट इज रिवर्सिबली ऑक्सीडाइजड लाइक like iron from cu positive to cu2 positive cu positive to cu2 positive cu positive to cu2 positive what we have iron clear up keep you can see boron boron ki function is both pc5 p for pollen germination c for calcium uptake and utilization Uh, cell membrane functioning cell enlargement cell differentiation cell elongation cell differentiation the last very important very important carbohydrate translocation carbohydrate translocation carbohydrate translocation is very very important bol jata hai bo4 bo33 negative or b4o72 negative bo33 negative or b4o72 negative boron is required for uptake and the utilization of the calcium to positive membrane functioning uh, cell membrane functioning pollen germination cell elongation cell differentiation and the carbohydrate translocation pc5 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 ye panch pc5 che functions hai boron ki p for pollen germination molybdenum molybdenum nitrate mera was nitrate reactive and nitrogenous it is something as yaar mo M O O two M O O two M O O two moth moth रखो यार मॉल बिल्डिंग को moth M O O two two positive M O O two two positive moth moth रखो यार बोरंग को सिंपल है B O three three negative और B four seven two negative moth including nitrogenous and nitrate reductase chlorine देखा था इसमें रिटेबल डा मेंटेनेंस एंड इंटेक्टिंग बैलेंस लाइक सोडियम एंड पोटेशियम विद द सोडियम एंड पोटेशियम हेल्डिट माइनस सोडियम कैसे लॉग दिया Essential for water splitting reaction in photosynthesis. Reaction that leads to oxygen evolution. Reaction that leads to oxygen evolution. Deficiency symptoms of essential. Deficiency symptoms of the essential elements. Asana. When are the supply of an essential element becomes limited, plant growth is retarded. The concentration of the essential element, the con below which the plant growth is retarded, is called the critical concentration. The element is said to be deficient when it is present below the critical concentration. It is simple as it is. Since each element has one or more specific structural or the functional role, structural or functional role in plants, in the absence of any particular element, the plant shows certain morphological changes. These morphological changes are called as deficiency symptoms. These deficient symptoms vary from element to another element. The they disappear when the deficient element is provided to the plant. However, in if deprivation continues, it may eventually lead to the death of the plant. The parts of the plant that show the deficient symptoms also the part of the plant. Which one part has the higher deficiency symptoms? It depends on the mobility of the element. In mobile, in mobile, we have to keep in mind the name Cas Fabgo. Cas C A S Fabgo. Cas Calcium, Sulfur, Iron, Boron, Copper. These are the immobile elements. Mobile elements की deficiency symptom is first to observe in older parts and vice versa for immobile ही रखना है यार इसमें से mobile the def the deficiency symptom of the mobile element the deficiency symptom of mobile element is first to observe in older parts is first to observe in older the deficiency symptom of the mobile element is first to observe in older parts is, is first to observe in older the deficiency symptom of the mobile element is first to observe in older parts. is first observed in older parts get older parts and the deficiency symptom of the immobile element first to observed in younger parts is first observed in younger parts is me that whenever the supply of an essential element becomes retarded the plant growth is retarded becomes limited the plant growth is retarded the mineral ion concentration below which the plant growth is retarded is called the critical concentration when an essential element is present below the uh, below the critical concentration below the critical plant shows certain morphological changes these are called deficiency symptoms uh, deficiency symptoms symptoms disappears when the essential element or deficient element is provided if deprivation continues it may lead to death of a plant if it lead to death the plant part that shows deficiency symptoms depends upon the mobility of the uh, nutrient mobility of the essential element if the uh, element is immobile the deficiency symptom is first to observed in younger part if the element is mobile the deficiency symptom is further observed in older parts there are uh, total 1 2 3 4 immobile elements cas fab cu ca calcium sulfur iron boron and copper calcium sulfur iron boron and copper calcium sulfur iron boron and copper
calcium are uh, part of the synthesis sulfur the, these immobile elements these are immobile because these are parts of the structural components of the cell like calcium and the sulfur are the structural components of the cell and hence are not easily released this aspect of the mineral nutrition of the plants is of great significance and importance to agriculture and horticulture this aspect of the plant that is immobile mobile kidation system to pehle kisko hoti hai younger part ko ke older part ko it is very important it is very important for it becomes very beneficial for agriculture and horticulture agriculture and horticulture it becomes very beneficial for agriculture and horticulture purpose at agriculture and horticulture purpose it becomes very beneficial for agriculture and the horticulture purpose agriculture and horticulture purpose <coughs> the kind of the deficiency system of the plant includes chlorosis that is the loss of chlorophyll or yellowing of leaves necrosis that is the death of the tissue particularly the leaf tissue stunted to grow that is limited plant growth premature fall of leaves and the buds that is premature fall of leaves and buds and the inhibition of the cell in chlorosis is the deficient chlorosis is the cause is caused is the loss of chlorophyll leading to the yellowing leaves the symptom is caused by the Thicken magazine moonness, thicken magazine moonness, thicken magazine moonness. Iron, potassium, nitrogen, magnesium, zinc, M, O, molybdenum, M, N, chlorosis. Second one is necrosis, death of the tuberculosis leaf tissue is due to the is due to the much cocaic M G C U C A K M G C U C A K M G C U C A K much cocaic. Yeah, lack or low level of the mox M O N K S M O N K S inhibit flowering. Inhibit cell division. Monks inhibit cell division. Mosin. M O S N. M O S N. Mosin. Delay flowering if their concentration in plants is low. First one is chlorosis. We can mark the moments. Chlorosis is the loss of chlorophyll. Chlorosis is the loss of chlorophyll, or we can say that yellowing of leaves. Chlorosis is the loss of chlorophyll, or yellowing of leaves. Chlorosis loss of chlorophyll leading to the yellowing of leaves. This symptom is caused by the deficiency symptom of the elements like fecal mucus and mucus. The second one is necrosis, that is the death of the tissue, death of the tissue, particularly the leaf tissue, death of the tissue, particularly the leaf tissue occurs due to necrosis occurs in mucus cocaic M G C U C A K. The third one is the inhibition of the cell division, mucus, mucus. The fourth one is the flowering inhibit. It is mucus and M O S N. Toxicity of micronutrients. The requirement of the micronutrients is always in low amount. The requirement of micronutrients is always in low amount. While their moderate decrease causes the deficiency symptoms, while in moderate increases causes the toxicity. The the requirement of the micronutrients is always in low amounts. While their moderate decrease causes the deficiency symptoms and the moderate increase causes toxicity. In other words, there is a narrow range of concentration at which these elements are optimum. Any mineral iron concentration that reduces the uh, that that reduces the drive of the plant by about ten percent is said to be toxic any mineral iron concentration that reduces the dry weight of the tissue by about 10% is considered to be toxic such critical concentration very very important sentence very very important such critical concentration is very widely among different micronutrients such critical concentration very widely among different micronutrients the toxicity symptoms are very very difficult to, to identify the toxicity symptoms are very very difficult to identify toxicity levels for any element also vary for different plants for different any element also vary for different plants many a times excess of an element may inhibit the uptake of another element excess of an element may inhibit the uptake of the another element another element another element no mistake एक एलिमेंट से बहुत सारे डिफिशेंसी सिम्टम्स होते हैं या बहुत सारे डिफिशेंस बहुत सारे एलिमेंट्स की डिफिशेंसी से सेम टाइप ऑफ सिम्टम हो सकता है दैट इज़ वाई डिफरेंट प्लांट्स आल्सो रेस्पॉन्ड डिफरेंटली टू द डिफिशेंसी ऑफ द सेम एलिमेंट डिफरेंट प्लांट्स प्लांट्स एलिमेंट प्लांट्स एलिमेंट एंड प्लांट्स एलिमेंट सेम सिम्टम प्लांट्स एलिमेंट एंड सिम्टम थ्री प्लांट्स एलिमेंट एंड सिम्टम same element different symptoms same symptom different uh, elements same symptom different elements different plants same element different symptoms very important plants element and symptom there are three elements plants and symptom same element different symptoms same symptom different elements different different plants same elements different plants same different symptoms Respond differently. Different plants respond differently to the deficiency of the same element. The regular micronutrients is low, is all in the low amounts, while the moderate decrease causes deficient symptoms and the moderate increase causes the toxicity. In other words, there is a narrow range of concentration in which these, these elements are optimum. Any mineral and concentration that uh, decreases the dry weight of dry weight of the plant by about ten percent is called is said to be toxic. The toxicity symptoms are very difficult to identify. Very important. The toxicity symptoms are very difficult. to identify
toxicity symptoms are very difficult to identify toxic levels for any element also vary at different levels many at times uh, the, uh, the toxic excess of an element may inhibit the uptake of another element excess of an element may inhibit the uptake of the another element may inhibit the uptake of 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 another element the uptake of another element for example for example for, for example prominent symptom of the manganese toxicity is the appearance of the chloratic veins around the sorry appearance of the brown spots around the chloride the prominent symptom of the manganese toxicity is the appearance of the brown spots around the chloratic veins it is important to know that manganese competes with iron and magnesium for their uptake and with manganese and with magn and with magnesium iron and magnesium for their uptake and with magnesium for binding with enzyme for binding with enzyme manganese also inhibit the calcium uptake translocation in shoot apex manganese also inhibit the calcium translocation in shoot apex therefore excess of manganese may in fact may in fact induce therefore excess of manganese may in fact induce the deficiency deficiency deficiencies of the iron magnesium and calcium deficiencies of iron magnesium and calcium thus what appears as symptoms of manganese toxicity may actually be the deficiency symptoms of iron magnesium what appears to be the uh, symptoms of the manganese toxicity may, may actually be the deficiency symptoms of iron magnesium and calcium iron magnesium and calcium can this knowledge be of some importance to form a gardener or even for your uh, identical manganese the excess of manganese competes with the iron and magnesium for uptake and with magnesium for binding with the enzymes. It also inhibits the calcium uh, translocate. Also, therefore, uh, therefore, the excess of manganese inhibits the, inhibit the, induces the deficiencies of the iron, magnesium, and calcium. Induces the deficiencies of the iron, magnesium. Induces the deficiencies of iron, magnesium, and calcium. Induces the deficiency of iron, magnesium, and calcium. Induces the deficiency of iron, magnesium, and calcium. Simple. Toxicity of micronutrients are found at different micronutrients. Toxicity level is different. Hoti hai. Different micronutrients ki toxicity level different. Hoti hai. Toxic kisay kya hai? Wo mineral ion concentration is ki wajah se uh, dry weight of the plant 10 percent se kam ho jaye. Usko kya hai? Hum usko kya toxic? Toxic system is bahot difficult to hoti hai identify karna. Kyunki excess of element may be in uh, may be the deficiency of other other element because excess of element can induce the deficiencies of another element. For example, excess excess of magnesium. Prominent symptom of magnesium toxicity is appearance of brown spots around the chloride veins but magnesium excess of magnesium competes with iron and magnesium for uptake and uh, with magnesium for uh, for binding with enzymes it, it also inhibits the calcium translocation therefore excess of excess of magnesium induces the deficiencies of iron magnesium and calcium iron magnesium and calcium what appears to be the deficiency what appears to be the deficiencies of iron may, may be actually the toxicity of the mechanism of absorption of elements is simple elements are absorbed uh, in two ways first in two steps first step is between the cells between the cells it is passive between the cells it is passive then through the cells it is active between the cells first step it is passive then the second step is through the cells inside the cells it is active passive first step ac active second step first step is passive between the cells and through the cells it is active Most much of the studies on making absorption elements by plants has been carried out in isolated cells, tissues, or the organs. Tissues or organs. These studies revealed that the process of the absorption can be demarcated in the two main phases in the first phase and ensure rapid uptake of the ions into the free spaces, outer space of the cell. That is between the cells, apoplast is passive. In the second phase of the uptake, the ions are taken in slowly into the inner space. They, uh, that is the simplest of the cells. The passive movement of the ions into the apoplast usually occurs through the ion channels, transmembrane proteins. Ion channel transmit with that functions as the selective pores. Ion channels transmit protein with that function as the selective 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 pores. On the other hand, the entry or exit of the ions and from the simple to carry the expenditure of the uh, metabolic energy, which is an active process. The movement of the ions is usually called the flux. In inward movement is called the influx, and the outward movement is called efflux. Influx and efflux, influx and efflux. Flux. The inward movement into the cells is, is the influx, and the outward movement is the efflux. Therefore, mechanism of absorption, the total absorption of the mineral ions, uh, minerals are absorbed in two main phases. The first phase is between the cells. Between the cells is the apoplast. It is the passive. It is passive. It occurs through the. It occurs through the ion channel or the transmembrane proteins which act as selective pores ion channels or transmembrane proteins which act as selective pores the second phase is uh, through the simplest inside the cell inside the cell through the cells through the cells in between the cell through the cells it is the simplest it involves the expenditure of energy and is called as the and is called as and is called as simplest it, and is the active process and is the active process the the movement of the mineral ions mineral solutes is called flux inward movement in flux out movement in flux translocation of solutes mineral solutes mainly how they transport through xylem Mineral solutes are translocated through xylem. Xylem. 
along with the ascending stream of water which is flowed up through the water by transpirational pool and reduce of the xylem sector with the presence of the mineral salts in the use of radioisotopes or uh, uh, use of radioisotopes use of radioisotopes or mineral elements also substantiate the view that they are transferred through xylem agram radioactive radioactive use of radioactive uh, elements agram radioactivity kisi element ko mark karenge aur fir particular neutron solution mein dalenge so fir wo radioactivity dikhayega khali xylem ki stream which indicates that is these mineral solutions mineral salts are transported through xylem only mineral salts are transported through xylem only soil as a <coughs> reservoir of essential element soil as a reservoir of essential element majority of the nutrients that are essential for the growth and the development majority of nutrients that are essential for the growth and development of the plants become available to the roots due to weathering and breakdown of rocks become available to the roots due to the weathering and breakdown of rocks these processes enrich the soil with dissolved ions and inorganic salts since they are derived from the rock minerals their role in plant nutrition is called as a mineral nutrition soil uh, consists uh, consists of a wide variety of substances <coughs> soil not only supplies mineral but also harbors nitrogen fixing bacteria other microbes holds water supplies air to the roots and act as matrix that stabilizes the plant since the deficiency symptom इसका मकसद यही है कि अगर किसी पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट की डिफिशेंसी हो जाए वी कैन प्रोवाइड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स बोथ माइक्रो एज वेल एज माइक्रो न्यूट्रेंट्स कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द प्लांट इन केस ऑफ डिफिशेंसी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स थ्रू द सॉइल क्योंकि सॉइल एक्ट्स एज अ रिजर्वेयर ऑफ दीज न्यूट्रेंट्स सॉइल एक्ट्स एज अ रिजर्वेयर ऑफ दीज न्यूट्रेंट्स इट नॉट ओनली एक्ट एज अ रिजर्वेयर ऑफ दीज न्यूट्रेंट्स बट इट गिव स्पेस टू सम नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग माइक्रोबस इट प्रोवाइड्स एयर टू द इट प्रोवाइड्स वाटर इट प्रोवाइड्स एयर टू द रूट्स एंड सो ऑन नाइट्रोजाइको मेटाबॉलिज्म नाइट्रोजन हमने पहले ही पढ़ा था नाइट्रोजन इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय द प्लांट्स इन द ग्रेटेस्ट अमाउंट हर किसी प्लांट पार्ट में नाइट्रोजन पाया जाता है अब हम पढ़ेंगे नाइट्रोजन कैसे मेटाबॉलाइज होता है इन द प्लांट पहली बात जो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है आया है लिमिटिंग फैक्टर नाइट्रोजन साइकिल में होता है पीएच ऑफ सॉइल लिमिटिंग फैक्टर इन द नाइट्रोजन साइकिल क्या होता है पीएच ऑफ सॉइल पीएच ऑफ सॉइल पीएच ऑफ सॉइल पीएच ऑफ सॉइल Apart from carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, nitrogen is the most prevalent element in the living organism. Nitrogen is the most prevalent element in the living organisms. Nitrogen is a constituent of nitrogen. कहाँ कहाँ आता है? Nephew, nucleic acid बढ़ा था पहले ही. Proteins, nucleic acid is proteins, Q, hormones, and vitamins. ये तो पढ़ा था पहले ही. Chlorophyll में भी nitrogen पाया जाता है. यहाँ पर भी पढ़ा. Chlorophyll में क्या क्या आया? Magnesium भी आया. Uh, iron का रहता है मतलब chlorophyll बनाने में. यहाँ पे लिखा है nitrogen भी chlorophyll में होता है. ठीक. प्लांट्स कंपेयर विद माइक्रोब्स सॉइल में नाइट्रोजन होता है लिमिटेड फॉर्म में माइक्रोब को भी जरूरत है नाइट्रोजन और प्लांट को भी जरूरत है नाइट्रोजन देयर फॉर देयर आर कंपटीशन प्लांट्स कंपीट विद माइक्रोब्स फॉर द लिमिटेड नाइट्रोजन इन द सॉइल देयर फॉर इट इट इज अ इट इज अ लिमिटिंग न्यूट्रिएंट इट इज अ लिमिटिंग न्यूट्रिएंट ये बहुत कम होता है सॉइल में इट इज अ लिमिटिंग न्यूट्रिएंट both in the agriculture and the natural ecosystem it is a limited nutrient both in the agriculture as well as the natural ecosystem nitrogen as a two nitrogen atom and to form the process of conversion of nitrogen into ammonia is called as a nitrogen fixation the first term the first definition the conversion of the nitrogen to ammonia the convert the direct conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is called the nitrogen fixation in nature lightning and the ultraviolet radiation provide enough energy to convert the nitrogen to the nitrogen oxide in the cell combustion forest fires automobile exhaust and the other power generating <coughs> stations are also sources of the atmospheric nitrogen oxides conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is called a nitrogen fixation it can occur through industry it is called industrial nitrogen fixation it can occur through bio uh, through organisms living organisms it's called biological nitrogen fixation biological nitrogen fixation <coughs> the conversion of organic nitrogen the conversion of organic nitrogen or we can say that the decomposition of organic nitrogen of dead plants and animals into ammonia simply pehli term padhi humne the conversion of simple nitrogen into ammonia it's called nitrogen fixation it can occur through na industry it's called industrial nitrogen fixation it can occur through biological organism living organism it's called biological nitrogen fixation it can occur through electricity electricity directly nitrate banta hai electricity agar hum electricity use karenge nitrogen ke liye wahan pe directly nitrate banta hai according to diagram directly nitrate banta hai electrical nitrogen fixation se directly nitrate form of banti hai wahan nitrogen pehle convert hota hai ammonia fir nitrate fir nitrate agar electricity use karenge to direct nitrate form banta hai according to the diagram on the textbook really important the conversion the decomposition of the organic nitrogen of the dead plants and animals into ammonia is called as ammonification अमोनिया अब बना कुछ अमोनिया वोलाटाइज होता है वोलाटाइज एंड एंटर द एटमोसफेयर बट मोस्ट ऑफ द अमोनिया इज कन्वर्ट इंटू नाइट्रेट बाय द नाइट्रीफाइंग बैक्टीरिया दो स्टेप उसमें होता है पहले नाइट्राइट में कन्वर्ट होता है विद बाय नाइट्राइट बैक्टीरिया फिर होता है नाइट्रेट में कन्वर्ट ऑफ नाइट्रेट बैक्टीरिया दोनों बैक्टीरिया होते हैं नाइट्रीफाइंग बैक्टीरिया दे आर कीमो और अब नाइट्रेट बैक्टीरिया की एग्जाम्पल नाइट्रेट बैक्टीरिया की एग्जाम्पल पढ़ेंगे अब 
Ammonia is first oxidized to nitrite by the bacteria Nitrosomonas and Nitrococcus. These are nitrite bacteria. NO2 negative. NO2 negative. Here it comes from H positive. And water comes from H positive. Here it comes from H positive. What do you get from H positive? Water. First step. Ammonia. Oxygen से मिलता है बनाता है nitrite nitrite और H positive और water निकलता है बाहर nitrite फिर convert होता है nitrate में first one step is nitrite nitrification में दूसरे step में nitrate बनता है nitrite बनाता है nitrosomonas से nitrococcus से nitrate बनाता है nitrate बेटर दिए सबसे कल nitrification and the bacteria are the कल इस nitrifying bacteria दिए जा chemo और trops chemo और trops aspergillus can perform both steps aspergillus ammonia को directly convert कर सकता है nitrate में वो nitrate भी खुद बना सकता है nitrate से nitrate भी खुद बना सकता है nitrate बनता है H plus अलग water अलग H plus अलग water याद करना पड़ेगा अब nitrate nitrate बना फिर होता है absorb nitrate the nitrate that's formed is absorbed by plants and is transported to the leaves in leaves it is reduced to ammonia leaves में पहुंच के वापस convert होता है ammonia में नाइट्रेट जो बना अब एब्जॉर्ब होता है थ्रू प्लांट्स फिर लीव्स में पहुंच के वापस होता है कन्वर्ट अमोनिया में दैट फाइनली फॉर्म्स द एमाइन ग्रुप फिर बनाता है एमाइनो एसिड यही अमोनिया फिर बनाता है एमाइन ग्रुप और एमाइनो एसिड नाइट्रेट प्रेजेंट इन द सोइल इज आल्सो रिड्यूस्ड जो नाइट्रेट सोइल में था वो उसको वापस कर सकते हैं कन्वर्ट हम नाइट्रोजन में दैट्स कॉल्ड ए डीनाइट्रिफिकेशन उसके लिए कुछ एंजाइम्स लगते हैं उनको कहेंगे डीनाइट सॉरी बैक्टीरियल उनको कहेंगे हम डीनाइट्रिफाइंग बैक्टीरिया एग्जांपल आर सीडोमोनास Theobacillus micrococcus, Pseudomonas Theobacillus micrococcus, Pseudomonas Theobacillus, Pseudomonas Theobacillus micrococcus, Pseudomonas Theobacillus micrococcus, Pseudomonas Theobacillus micrococcus. Ammonia is first oxidized to nitrite by the by the bacteria by the bacteria nitrosomonas and nitrococcus. Nitrite is then converted into nitrate by the bacteria nitrobacter, 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 nitrosomonas, nitrobacter. <coughs> These steps are called nitrification and the bacteria are the chemo the crops are called nitrification bacteria the nitrate that's formed is then absorbed by the plants and is converted into the ammonia in the leaves in the ammonia in the leaves which forms the amine group, amine group of the amino acids the nitrate in the soil is converted back to the nitrogen by the process of denitrification by the enzyme by the sorry by the bacteria with the help of the bacteria theo bacillus pseudomonas and theobacillus pseudo pseudomonas and theobacillus pseudomonas and Pseudomonas and Theobacillus microcosm, Sidam, 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 James, Nitratus, STM, Pseudomonas, Theobacillus, Micrococus are denitrifying bacteria, Aspergillus, bacteria can convert, Aspergillus can convert both steps, can perform both the steps, that is, convert the ammonia into nitrite itself and nitrite into nitrate itself. Nitrite reductase and nitrate reductase. पहले step में nitrate reductase लगता है, उसके लिए लगता है copper और iron. ये तो bye bye copper iron. Molybdenum iron लगता है nitrate जो पहले ही पढ़ा था हमने molybdenum में nitrate वहाँ पे भी लिखा है, यहाँ पे भी याद रखना है copper iron, nitrite reductase, bye bye. Molybdenum iron, mofi 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 कुछ भी याद रखो molybdenum iron nitrate reductase. Biological nitrogen fixation. Living, जब living organism कर करेंगे convert nitrogen को ना ammonia में, उसको कहेंगे हम biological nitrogen fixation. उसमें से exclusively prokaryotes के पास होता है वो enzymes. Exclusively prokaryotes के पास होता है वो enzyme that helps in the conversion of nitrogen into ammonia. Very few living organisms can utilize nitrogen in their end to form available abundantly in the air. Only certain prokaryotic species are capable of fixing nitrogen. कुछ prokaryotes एकेरेट की तो जिक्र ही नहीं है प्रोकेरेट्स में भी खाली कुछ कर सकते हैं कन्वर्ट नाइट्रोजन को इंटर अमोनिया में रिडक्शन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन टू अमोनिया बाय द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इस कॉल्ड एज बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन वेरी सहल आस्तीन है द एंजाइम नाइट्रोजनेस विच इज कैपेबल ऑफ नाइट्रोजन रिडक्शन इज प्रेजेंट एक्सेसिवली एक्सक्लूसिवली इन प्रोकेरेट सच माइक्रोब्स आर कॉल्ड नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर्स सच माइक्रो अब इन माइक्रोब्स के बारे में थोड़ा सा पढ़ेंगे जो माइक्रोब्स ना कन्वर्ट करेंगे नाइट्रोजन को अमोनिया में जो माइक्रोब्स ना कहलाते हैं नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर्स जो माइक्रोब्स के पास होता है नाइट्रोजनेस एंजाइम अब उन नाइट्रो माइक्रोब्स के बारे में थोड़ा सा पढ़ेंगे उसमें आगे पहले दीज मा यू माइक्रो दिस हैकन एसिड एरोबिक एनारोबिक एरोबिक फ्री लिविंग और सिम्बायोटिक पहले आएगा एरोबिक फ्री लिविंग एजोटोबैक्टर एंड बेजर इन किया फिर आएगा एनारोबिक फ्री लिविंग एनारोबिक एंड फ्री लिविंग एनारोबिक एंड फ्री लिविंग में आएगा रोडो सियानो बैक्टीरिया बेजरिंग के रोडो स्पेरलिम एजोटो बैक्टर एजोटो बैक्टर बेजरिंग वाले रोडो स्पेरलिम इज एनारोबिक फ्री लिविंग इन एडिशन टू सियानो बैक्टीरिया सर्ज एनाबिल एनोस्टोक और द अदर फ्री लिविंग नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर्स नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर्स बैक्टीरिया में आएगा पहला एरोबिक फ्री लिविंग 
बेजर इन किया बेजर इन किया एजोटो बैक्टर ए बी ए बी पहली बार ए बी एजोटो बैक्टर बेजर इन किया रोडो स्पायरल गो एनारोबिक फ्री लिविंग एनारोबिक एंड फ्री लिविंग एनारोबिक एंड फ्री लिविंग इन एडिशन एंड नंबर ऑफ द सी एनो बैटीरिया एग्जाम्पल एनाबिन एंड नोस्टोक और अदर ऑल्सो फ्री लिविंग नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर्स एक्सक्लूसिव प्रोक्रियाट्स के पता पास होता है एनवाइम दैट इज नाइट्रोजनस एन नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग माइक्रोब्स कुड बी फ्री लिविंग और सिम्बायोटिक एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फ्री लिविंग फ्री लिविंग नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग एरोबिक माइक्रोब्स आर एजोटोबैक्टर एंड बेजर इनकिया रोडोस्पायरलम इज एनारोबिक एंड फ्री लिविंग इन एडिशन टू सीनो बैक्टीरिया इंक्लूड एनाबीना एंड नोस्टोक और द अदर फ्री लिविंग माइक्रोब्स और नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर सिम्बायोटिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन Several types of symbiotic associations are known. The most prominent is the legume bacteria relationship. Most popular and most common legume bacteria relationship. Legume bacteria <coughs> bacteria or leguminous plants may a particular bacteria leguminous plants or leguminous plants may at time alpha alpha sweet clover sweet clover sweet pea lentils garden pea broad bean clover beans beans at time zyadatar beans and pea pea sweet pea garden pea broad beans clover beans alpha alpha sweet clover sweet pea these are very leguminous plants several types of symbiotic biological connection fixation associations are the most uh, prominent among them is the legume bacteria relationship several rod shaped rhizobium has such a relationship with the roots of several legumes has such a relationship with the leguminous rhizobium rod shaped has such a relationship with the roots of the leguminous plants like alpha alpha sweet clover garden pea broad bean sweet pea etc the most common association on the roots is called as the nodule these nodules uh, are the small outgrowths on the roots the microbes franchia micro the micro franchia can produce legume can produce nodules on the non leguminous plant example elmas franchia is a bacteria that can produce nodules on the roots of the non leguminous plant example elmas 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 franchia and elmas franchia and elmas franchia is a bacteria franchia and elmas franchia is a non leguminous both rhizobium and franchia are jab soil mein facultative anaerobic they are facultative they are not obligate anaerobic they are facultative anaerobic when they are uh, in the soil they are free living they are free living they are free living anaerobic rhizobium are free living in the soil but as symbiotes can fix the atmosphere of nitrogen up to any part of the plant common pulses before flowering wo agar aapko pata matlab question aayega kab nodule formation dikhegi acche se before flowering flowering se pehle <coughs> You will see the near spherical outgrowths on the roots. These are called as the nodules. If the central portion is pink, it is because of the presence of the leg hemoglobin. The symbiotic association is also known. Various symbiotic ligaments are related to the common rhizobium, rod shaped rhizobium, which is known. Rod shaped rhizobium, which is known, has such relationship with the several ligaments plants like alpha alpha, sweet clover, garden pea, broad beans, etc. The most common association is the nodule. Nodules are the small outgrowths on the roots. Franchia is a plant. Sorry, franchia is a bacteria. that can produce nodules or we can say that, that can form nodules on the root, roots of non leguminous plants that can form nodules on the roots of non leguminous plants non leguminous plants both rhizobium as well as uh, franchia both rhiz franchia are facultative anaerobes because they are facultative anaerobes because they are free living in soil but as symbiont symbionts can fix the atmospheric nitrogen like hemoglobin hota hai in the central part of the uh, nodule mein this this ki wajah se wo hota hai pink color ka nodule formation kis tarah hota hai isme kuch steps aate hain pehle bacteria aata hai wo invade karta hai uh, cells epidermal cells of the root colony banata hai uske baad infection thread aata hai infection thread karta hai carry bacteria ko in the cortex cortex mein wo initiate karta hai cell formation aur fir banata hai direct vascular connection with the host direct vascular connection with the host ye simple hai nodal formation involves a sequence of multiple interactions between the rhizobium and the roots of the host plant or we can say that leguminous plant principal stages rhizobium multiply and colonize the surroundings of the root surroundings of the root multiply and colonize the surroundings of the root release certain sort like bitterness flavonoids is jyada important nahi hai and get attached to the epidermal and the root hair cells after attachment attachment ke sath sath the root hair cells curl hote hain root curl and the bacteria invade the root hair cells infection threat is produced and the bacteria in the cortex root of the root where they initiate the nodal formation so cortex mein root uh, nodal formation initiate hota hai <coughs> then the bacteria are released from thread and yeah, form Establish the direct vascular connection with the host for the exchange of nutrients. These events are depicted in the figure. This is important. Example दिया है यहाँ पे इसने एक leguminous plant है that is soya bean. Soya bean की example दी है nodal formation in soya bean. पहले क्या होता है? पहले rhizobia multiply करता है and invade the surrounding of the cells. 
روٗٹ ہیر کٔرل ہوت یہِ روٗٹ ہیر چھُ گژھان کٔرل انفیکشن تھریٹ از فارمڈ دیٹ ٹرانسپورٹ از دس بیکٹیریا ان دی کارٹکس دی روٗٹ کارٹکس میں نوڈل فارمیشن کی انیشیشن ہوتی ہے اینڈ اٹ ایسٹیبلش ا ڈائریکٹ ویسکوئر کنیکشن ڈائریکٹ ویسکوئر کنیکشن وتھ دی ہوسٹ ڈائریکٹ ویسکوئر کنیکشن وتھ دی ہوسٹ دی نوڈل کنٹینرز ار نیسسری بائی کیمیکل ایجنٹس جو لگتے لائک مول وڈ ان آئرن پروٹین ہوتا ہے اس میں انزائم نائٹروجنیز لیگ ہیموگلوبین مول وڈ ان آئرن پروٹین نائٹروجنیز لیگ ہیموگلوبین مول وڈ ان آئرن پروٹین The nodule contains all its necessary biochemical components such as the enzyme nitrogenase and the leg hemoglobin. The enzyme nitrogenase is a molybdenum iron protein and catalyzes the conversion of the atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia. The first stable product of the ammonia is the first stable product of the nitrogen fixation. This is a question asked like that. Ammonia is the first stable product of the nitrogen fixation. First stable product of the nitrogen fixation. 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 To put the molybdenum iron protein. Molybdenum iron protein. Kahan nitrate like this. <coughs> Development of the root uh, nodules in soya bean. Rhizobium bacteria contact a susceptible root here, divide near Sus successful infection of the root here cause it to curl. Or successful invade, um, kya se identify hota hai, jab root here curl karta hai. Infection thread carries the bacteria to the inner cortex. The bacteria get modified into rod-shaped bacteroids. Jab cortex mein pohnchta hai, bacteria wahan pe banta hai, rod-shaped rod -shaped structures, unko kehte hai, bacteroids. and causes inner cortical and pericycle cells very important cortical as well as pericycle cells cortical and pericycle cells to divide cortical cells bhi aur pericycle cells bhi divide karte hain very important bacteroides rod shaped bacteroides banata hai very important cortical pericycle cells to divide division and growth of cortical and pericycle cells lead to nodule formation cortical as well as pericycle cells very important cortical and pericycle cells lead to nodule formation a mature nodule is complete with the vascular tissues continuous with those of the root ab kaise नोड अमोनिया फॉर्मेशन रिक्वायर्स ए टी पी कितना ए टी पी लगता है एट ए टी पी लगता है एक अमोनिया को बनाने में दो अमोनिया को बनाने में सिक्सटीन ए टी पी लगेंगे सिक्सटीन ए टी पी के साथ साथ आठ एच पॉजिटिव आठ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को विद आठ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल बनेगा एच पॉजिटिव फिर बनाएगा हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन बनाएगा अमोनिया वाटर पॉटर चीन ये बनाने के हाइड्रोजन बनेगा हाइड्रोजन हाइड्रोजन आठ एच पॉजिटिव शुरा ए टी पी शुरा ए टी पी को आख अमोनिया बनाना फॉर वन अमोनिया एटीन एट ए टी पी रिक्वायर्ड ए टी पी very important hydrogen is developed ammonia is so hydrogen given the eight h plus two eight electron the enzyme nitrogenase is highly sensitive to the molecular oxygen it requires anaerobic conditions the nodules have adaptations that ensures the enzyme is protected from the oxygen the product of these enzymes the nodule contains an oxidant sequence called black like hemoglobin it is interesting to note that the, these microbes live as aerobes very important these microbes live as aerobes here when free living they live as aerobes aerobes under free living conditions where nitrogenase is not option but during the nitrogen fixation they act as the anaerobic thus protecting nitrogenase enzyme And nitrogenase enzyme is highly sensitive to the molecular oxygen. It does not work in presence of the oxygen. Like hemoglobin prevents the oxygen to reach the nitrogenase. <coughs> these these microbes when uh, they are uh, in the soil they live as aerobic, but as symbiotes they live as anaerobes. They live as anaerobes. They live as anaerobes. Eight H plus two eight H plus two. Oh, बनते हैं बहुत फिर बनता है hydrogen, ammonia. एक अमोनिया को बनाने के लिए आठ ए टी पी ज़रूरत होते हैं दो अमोनिया को बनाने के लिए सिक्सटीन ए टी पी जरूरत है कम्प्लीट रिएक्शन गई एन टू एन टू को लिया गया एट एच पॉल टू एट इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्सटीन ए टी पी लास्ट पेज You must have noticed that in the above reaction, that the ammonia synthesis by nitrogenase enzyme requires a high input of energy, 8 ATP for each NH3 producer. The energy required thus is obtained from the respiration of host cell. The energy thus obtained, uh, the, the energy thus required, is obtained from the respiration of the host cell. Is obtained from the respiration of the host cell. Now ammonia. So what happens to ammonia? Ammonia, kismat kya hai is ammonia ki? At physiological pH, ammonia is protonated from ammonium. फिजोलॉजिकल पी एच पे अमोनिया को प्रोटोनेट किया जाता है तो फॉर्म द अमोनियम आयन मोस्ट ऑफ प्लांट्स कैन एसिमलेट नाइट्रेट एज वेल एज अमोनियम नाइट्रेट को भी एसिमलेट कर सकते हैं अमोनियम को भी एसिमलेट कर सकते हैं मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लांट्स कैन एसिमलेट बोथ द नाइट्रेट एज बट अमोनियम इज क्वाइट टॉक्जिक अमोनियम इज मोर टॉक्जिक दैन नाइट्रेट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
but later is quite toxic to the plants and hence cannot be accumulated in them. Let us now see the NH4 positive reaction synthesis. Now NH4 positive को use करेंगे तो synthesize the amino acids. दो step दो reactions हैं. एक है reductive amination, दूसरा है trans amination. Reductive amination में हम use करते हैं हम NADPH, 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 NADPH. Reductive amination में एक reducing agent की ज़रूरत है. That is NADPH. Enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase. इस इसमें से एक amino acid बनता है इस reaction में. That is glutamic acid. फिर इसी glutamic acid से हम बाकी amino acids बनाते हैं through the transfer of the amine group. That is called trans amination with the help of the enzyme trans aminease. अल्फा कीटो ग्रिटेरिक एसिड अमोनियम को रिएक्ट कराते हैं अल्फा कीटा कीटो ग्लिटेरिक एसिड एन को यूज करते हैं हम रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट एंजाइम इज गुलटामेट डिहाइड्रोजनियस एंड प्रोडक्ट इज गुलटामिक एसिड इज कॉल्ड रिडक्टिव अमेनेशन Omonia reacts with the alpha keto glutaric acid and form the glutamic acid as indicated in the application. Very important is NADPH. It may be NADPH. It may be NADPH. NADPH may be NADPH. Alpha keto glutaric acid. Now we will start some action. It involves the transfer of the amino group from an amino acid to the keto group of that from amino group from one amino acid to the keto group of the another acid. Glutamic acid is the main. Glutamic acid acts as a donor of the amino group. Glutamic acid acts as a donor of the amino acid. Amino group. How is the transfer of the amine? The amine group takes place in the other amine structure form through the trans amine enzyme. The two important amides that is the aspergine and glutamine. These are amides. The two important amides that is aspergine and glutamine found in plants are structural parts of proteins. Are structural parts of proteins. They are formed from the two important amides, aspergine and glutamine, are found in plants as the structural parts of proteins. They are formed from the two amino acids like the aspartic acid and the glutamic acid. Aspartic acid and aspergine from aspergine. By the addition of the another amino group to it, the hydroxyl part of the acid is replaced by the NH2 radical acid. Ka hydroxyl part hum replace kar sa in amino se uske baad wo banta hai amino acid. Hydroxyl part of acid is replaced by the NH2 radical. Since amides very important, amides contain more nitrogen than amino acids. Therefore, uh, nitrogen is transported in the form of amides. Amides contain more nitrogen than amino acids. Very important. Amides can dry aspergine has more and amino contain more than amino acids. They are transported to other parts via xylem. In addition, along with the transportation stream, nodules of some plants, example soya bean, export the fixed nitrogen as urides. Urides also contain high high nitrogen to carbon ratio. Very important. NC ratio, high nitrogen to carbon ratio. Nitrogen to amino acids. Amides contain high nitrogen more than the amino acids xylem stream. Here, urides. Example soya bean nodules of some soil elements like plant like soya bean transport the <coughs> nitrogen in the form of urides. These compounds, these compounds that is, uh, these compounds that is amides and urides contain high nitrogen to carbon ratio, contain high nitrogen to carbon ratio, contain high nitrogen to carbon ratio.